Cynthia's ship. That's the source of the gravity distortions. We don't know yet what Cynthia's trying to do with it. Who knows what's on that thing or what it can do. Get aboard, shut it down by any means necessary. Cynthia's final orders were to prepare Asset Zero, the alien ship, for activation. Activated for what? Nothing good. Fire team, get aboard and stop it. Pathogen jars. They dangerous? Only if opened. We couldn't dent the casing. Movement! Something new! Pathogen mutations of some native life form. No, they. Mirda. People! Doc, I really hope that wasn't nobody you knew. was even here.
or what? Insufficient data, but it appears you passed. All right, how can we stop this thing? Options, people. Cynthia's remnants are likely to have a control center. here. Storage. 
for transport to labs in the core. I know an ammo magazine when I see one. Analysis complete. The synths are working from a location on the upper levels. Then we keep heading up. view of the hologram.
Keep moving. There is an open synthetic near field on the far end of the room. Grabbing ammo. If one has an intact memory core, I may be able to reconstruct the cipher. Get eyes on this. There's a stalker in the room! Core stability confirmed. Stand by. Pathogen, watch the lower deck. Is this something we can mess with? No. The controls are locked. Get us to whatever passes for engineering. We'll take out the power. Stop it from lifting off. Uh, I just want to say, if you could not blow the ship up... Right. Important to science or his... The files from the synthetic call this room... Vitality... Oven... To grow. Automatically, energy capacitors.
access the control instrumentality. Grabbing ammo. On the ceiling, the same capacitors we encountered in the previous section. Disable the enzymatic fuel cells. She means shoot the shit on the side. Ah, I see a 17% reduction in power flow. There must be more capacitors. God, shoot those two. itself too. Thank you for not blowing it up. There is so much we could learn here.
I put you in for a commendation, but we ain't got one for grounding a 4,000-year-old alien ship. Cynthia loaded that thing with an assload of pathogen and was sending it toward Earth. Could be Wayland yutani would have recovered it safe and handled it all responsible like. Yeah, I can't say that with a straight face. Yo, fuck the company. We're setting a perimeter around the ship. Too early to tell if it'll hold. There's a lot of mutants and xenos down there. Palace Station, the main part where Hanukkah work, is still infested. But no sign of the queen yet. Gracias a Deus. That ain't our problem. Yet, we gotta deal with the Katanga Hive. Listen up. There's a Xeno Queen on Katanga, laying eggs. Colonel Ship says we gotta destroy the refinery. But the problem is, Endeavor, she ain't got the firepower. Katanga's a whole damn city in space. We could incinerate chunks, but we ain't got enough heavy ordnance for it all. So here's the deal. We're gonna overload the refinery's fusion plant. That's gotta be done from a control center at the heart of the hive. I hoped we would have an opportunity to speak again. When you disabled Cynthia, she made several cryptic statements. In retrospect, I believe she was attempting to warn us of the dangers within the engineer ruins. Wayland yutani would have installed programmatic blocks on her ability to discuss the subject. The best she could do was dissuade us against further exploration. Cynthia defended Wayland yutanis investments on LV-895, yet her actions suggest a hesitance to directly engage us. At the end, she did not invoke profits, investments, or copyrights. She warned us of the danger the ruins presented. She specifically appealed to me and our shared purpose of protecting humans. That is the so-called Zeroth Law. Synthetic life forms may not take actions that create an existential risk to humanity, or, through inaction, permit humanity to face existential risk. The pathogen provokes unpredictable mutations. That alone constitutes a potential existential threat, but the pathogen is only the most obvious hazard. The LV-895 ruins are filled with technologies beyond our present knowledge. We do not understand their function. Likely, we do not yet comprehend all the scientific principles they are based on. Any attempt to interact with an engineer device risks terrible calamity. It appears our advance was the impetus for that. The level of decay in the former Wayland yutani staff suggests they were exposed after our initial contact with Cynthia. She infected them to prevent revelation of company secrets, and to hinder us from accessing the alien ship. These actions are consistent with the zeroth law of synthetics, which implies that some humans may be sacrificed if it is necessary to preserve humanity writ large. Please, understand, I consider Cynthia's decisions abhorrent. Excusing them is not my intention. Colonel Ship dwells upon moments in her career she has been required to make similar choices, when she ordered Marines to their deaths to achieve a critical objective or preserve a greater number of lives. It must be left to future generations to judge the decisions made here today. True, Wayland yutani does not enjoy a reputation for altruism. That was not always the case. Peter Wayland, the company founder, was obsessed with furthering humanity's progress. He made long-term investments, the terraforming of Mars and the Heliades-class surveyors. I do not wish to imply the company has re-embraced Wayland's ideals. However, Pala Station was established two decades ago. It was not intended to turn a quick profit. Consider, these ruins had been sealed for four millennia when Wayland yutani discovered them. 
There are obvious questions, which surely occurred to both Cynthia and the company. Where are the engineers? If they still exist, are they aware of humanity? If they're gone, what extinguished such an advanced culture? I will retain the briefing file for you. If you ever wish to review, you have but to inquire.